Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button at the end of this video and click the notification bell so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. So today's video is going to be on the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup. I happened to come across this in Walmart and I have not actually seen this out before. I have definitely seen the concealer that everybody likes, but as far as the actual foundation, no. So I did go on their website and on Ulta's website to get a little bit more information. It does have SPF 18 in it and it is 0.68 fluid ounces, so not quite the one fluid ounce that you get in a normal foundation. So I went to the Ulta site first to look this up and it is $11.49 at Ulta. It comes in eight shades on the Ulta website. The concealer comes in 12 shades and if you go to the Maybelline website you can actually find this in 12 shades so I'm not exactly sure why Ulta does not carry all 12 shades but they carry eight of the shades and it has 3.9 out of five stars and I was gradually going through the reviews and those reviews on Ulta are very iffy because a lot of people were reviewing this thinking that they were actually reviewing the concealer because they are so close well exact packaging just different sizes so people thought that they were reviewing the concealer because they wrote on their amazing concealer and this is actually their foundation so i had to go to the maybelline website because ulta didn't have how to apply this how it was used or anything like that and it says that it instantly erases fine lines, creases, and age spots. It's the first anti-aging makeup combining a patent micro-corrector applicator and a breakthrough formula with active ingredients. Benefits are its patent micro-corrector applicator, micro-fills and smooths imperfections on skin surface, super concentrated foundation formula with goji berry and collagen, tightens and improves skin elasticity. The SPF 18 protects skin from sun damage, clinically proven effectiveness. And it also said with this applicator, using the applicator, apply foundation directly to face blending in an outward motion. The applicator is protected by an anti-microbial system. To clean the applicator, it does say do not get this wet, like don't rinse it with soap and water. It just says wipe off excess with a dry tissue. And again, it says do not wet. I actually got the shade 130 Buff Beige. The shades where they only have eight, it is very, very hard to find your shade. That is definitely for sure. So we're just gonna pop the cap off and I have already rolled this up because if you have the concealer, you know it takes like five minutes to get any product out of here. So I'm gonna start off with some of the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and I'm going to only put this on half of my face and the other side of my face, no primer. So I'm gonna start on the side with the primer and try to well there's so much on this for rolling it up it's just too full you would have to barely barely twist this up and have way 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 less amount than that to be able to get this to blend in so I'm just going to take a brush this is the morphe Y6 brush, not from the Gilded Collection. Try to stipple this foundation in and we will zoom in and see what it looks like. It doesn't say anything about being a full coverage foundation. And I did exfoliate last night. I don't have dry skin, I have very oily skin. So that never seems the 
be a problem me having dry patches to cling to. Um, oh. Okay, uh, definitely, definitely not full coverage whatsoever. This is just like blending away. So, it kind of looks good like in the camera right now. It looks okay. Like, for some reason, I don't know why, it's actually showing up really good on camera for some reason. Which normally happens sometimes. It shows up way better. But this is not... It is definitely not something if you are looking for a full coverage. Maybe there's... I'm going to try and see if, like... It just says blend out and we'll try to see if there's like there's still like just cranking this up to get it started so I wouldn't be sitting here for five minutes doing that you can still see it has so much still in it so it's kind of impossible to use this sponge to blend it in at all it does like horrible with a brush, so I'm just gonna try a beauty blender. There is no way that I would, beauty blender isn't working either. It, I don't know what else that I could do to try to, I mean, this side had no primer, this side has primer. And as I'm looking in my mirror, you can still see, which I didn't expect this to be full coverage because it's not claimed to be full coverage, but at least like a BB top cream, like your skin bit better. It's just, oh, I can see right here my redness peeking through and it kind of looks like there's dead skin in this area that it's clinging to, but there's not, it will not stay on my nose. Like from here to here is completely no makeup, just kind of the makeup that has soaked into my pores is the only thing that's showing. Um, and I notice on the side that I did not put any primer on there is some like dead looking skin which I don't have dry skin so I don't know what that is caking up to um, my chin definitely a huge area right here that it won't cling to it looks like I've had makeup on jumped into a pool got out and Half of it is melted off, is exactly what this looks like. And this definitely wouldn't be a good makeup for me with my lines that I have in my forehead, which I'm soon taking care of, thank God. It's hereditary and I can't stand it. But yeah, that we have to do a zoom in for this because this is just, I love their concealer, but this is just, it's naughty. I can't even get like get it to look good at all. And I just maybe if you mix this in with another foundation, it maybe if you mixed it in with another foundation, it might look good, but it's not looking good on its own with or without primer. It it's getting like caked up in areas and it looks like I have a whole face of dry skin, which there's no way possible. I do not have dry skin. My skin is oily as oily can get. I don't ever have dry skin. And if I do, it's in the winter time and I just exfoliated. So there was no dry skin, but it looks like it's connecting to patches. So let's just, kind of zoom in because I want to show you all because it does, it 
does look good in this camera. For some reason, it looks, of course it's not my shade, because I'm not self-tanned, and I actually purchased this. When, I don't know why I'm trying to fix it, I might as well give up. But I purchased it when I was self-tanned, so I was going by that shade, so it's definitely not my shade. So if you are my skin tone or lighter, 130 buff beige is definitely going to be too dark for you unless you do mix it in with another foundation it's you know you can't apply drops to it to really make it lighter so it's difficult but let's just zoom in so that i can show you like what i'm talking about because i would not even go into a dollar general looking like this i'd rather just not have makeup on so let's zoom in. i don't know you can clearly tell there is no makeup at all on my nose except for, let's see, let's see, no makeup on the nose at all. Right here is the area I'm talking about that is caking up and looking like I have dry skin and also you can still see a ton of my redness peeking through here on my chin same thing it was kind of worse on the primer side with the dry looking skin like right in this area here forehead did not cover her at all she ain't paying no rent she needs to be leaving somewhere and you can definitely tell right here how bad it's creased in my lines and looks like it's already transfer i mean still a ton of redness thoughts on the maybelline instant rewind eraser makeup treatment um i really am not sure how I would be able to make this work. I have tried different ways from far back in the camera. It actually looks good, but as you've seen close up, it definitely doesn't look anything like that. So cameras are very deceiving, that's for sure, because I do like the way it looks from afar in the camera, but I definitely don't like what I see when I'm looking in the mirror. So brush, Beauty blender, sponge, none of it worked. I tried absorbing with the tissue dry, like it said, to see if I was able to do like they said, and that did not help either. So I don't think this is going to become a part of my collection. It's just, I'm sorry, I love Maybelline. And if you haven't tried Instant Age Rewind, rewind um, treatment concealer that's a part of the line definitely go and pick this up this actually works really well and there's a lot of people that love that but where i hadn't seen many reviews on this and it just happened to pop up and i seen it i wanted to get it so that i could do a review and i was hoping it was going to be as good as that concealer but it's not and that's okay certain makeups not for everybody just because it doesn't work well with my skin or me doesn't mean that you might not like it and for $11.49 even though you're not getting a full ounce that's you don't need much of this at all I don't believe you would but it's just not something I prefer so there we have it that is my thoughts on this if you want to take a risk and try it out for $11.49 you know just make sure you buy it at Ulta that way you're able to take it back because there's no way that Walmart will let you take this back after using it like that so if you do want to give it a go I do recommend going to Ulta it did have 3.9 out of 5 stars that's not really you know, too bad, but like I said, most people thought they were commenting on the concealer, and they were not, but just a no-go for me. So, I hope you all enjoyed this quick little video on first impressions. Oh, God, I can just see those dry patches and the cakiness of my nose. But, um, 
subscribe. Don't forget, um, I'm going to try to be posting videos at least once a week for right now until I get more in the swing of things and not all are going to be makeup related but you all have a great day great night wherever you are thank you so much for watching these videos i appreciate you so much do me a favor give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down i don't care either or you want to give it leave a comment make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell or else if you are sus subscribed you may not see this video. So hopefully that will get taken care of. But bye y'all.